for some YouTube peeps out there in YouTube land, you already know this is your girl Burnett Perkins, and I'm not doing a reaction, not yet, but one will be coming after this one here later on. But anywho, y'all, since I made that little video with the little bug teeth and talking about helping, uh, you know, trying to assist um, old girls to get out that trailing, you know, upgrade the trailer. Them hoes been coming over here from the sister, uh-uh, <laughs> supposed to be sister whatever, and it's not. And yeah, y'all do see a broom back there in the mop, but in with, so let's not be stupid. Not a mop, but a broom, because I do have to sweep, right? But anyway, y'all like those pictures back there? I got plenty more pictures going down the hallway. You know, and all that good stuff. Y'all don't see no roaches, no nothing. That's my little kitchen area. You know. Oh. Oh. Hold on, y'all. Little kitchen area. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm going to block my face. I don't have to block my face. Hell, everybody know what I look like. But, baby, let me say this. Say a couple things. Number one, like I was saying. Them little hook bats, not an old little hookers been coming over him, you know, in my little comments, you know, saying they little sleek stuff, and I reply back to it, sleek with them or whatever, whatnot. So I know they coming from over there from the uh, Purple Heart, you know, so it is what it is. They say what they have to say, I say what I got to say, and I ask them, you know, I text them and ask, hey, this, is this what you want? Is this what you want? Because on my channel, I don't go after people, you know, like that, you know, going off on people. But <laughs> I can. So if this is what you want, you know what I'm saying? And I tell them real quick, fast, in a hurry, you're going to get one pass and one pass only. It ain't going to be no straight two and three. It's going to be straight one and you're out. You're going to be out because I'm coming for that ass. Okay? Okay. Now. Boy, I tell you, I watch Sweet Tea and Sis put it on them. Make a nigga want to marry ya. Put it on ya, okay? She red snot nose, baby. She red snot nose. And you know, T is right. You know, you, she can't do a whole complete video with that nose running and mouth dripping and you know it's just a damn shame it's a shame you know that her health it you know it is what it is but her health is declining real bad you guys you know no joke real talk for real for real you know purple heart it's not doing too well you know you can tell let me turn this tv down you can tell when she come on her channel um this situation with her and she need to chill at, you know, she's being money hungry. She's, you know, she's thinking so much of the money than her health. She's not thinking about her health and then her money, you know, like in, in that order. It's an order to go by. Your health first, because if you don't take it yourself, how you going to make the money? And the money going to still be here, but you're going to be dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? So she need to really, really, re, you know, rethink herself and chill out for a while and you know we all know that a lot of people is coming after her on these youtube streets so she can't tackle everybody you know she can't and it's gonna make her you know if she got high blood pressure her blood pressure gonna go up if she a diabetic sugar gonna go up you know we all know she got that little portal in her chest and she had to go get flushed out and stuff like that you know so i know the doctor probably telling her you know uh it's not known you need to chill out you need to, well, what got you up in an upgrade, you know? And I know she's going to say, YouTube, like a girl be saying, these YouTube street, the YouTube street, you know what I'm saying? YouTube got her up and going, you know? She don't have time to rest. She don't take time out for herself. And as she do, and just for, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, boom, she back up on here. She's back up on here, so that's not good, you know. That's that's not good. I wish, you know, and this just me, y'all. 
that she would at least for about a month change her um channel around you know like asmr or, or mook bonds or something like that or show us she going shopping you know different things you know i know she did the uh, airbnb little thing with her family or whatever now that was amazing that was nice you know but just to sit on that couch and um with the peacocks in the back you know and just talk about somebody it is getting so old it is getting so old and i don't understand why she got upset about that lady in that damn car. I I, I don't understand, y'all. I honestly do not understand why you got upset about that lady getting that damn car. Whether she got it or not, whether it was a rental. If it was a rental, man, it looked like she got you up in a rage. A road rage. You lost your freaking mind. Lady, you want to be this chick so bad. I mean, so bad. And y'all, check this out. I had somebody to even come in my DM to my, oh, she paying you. Yeah, she paying me no damn attention. That's what she damn paid me, okay? She paying me no damn attention, baby girl. I get up and go to work. From 7 at night to 7 in the morning come home get myself together like no other miss Lele, you know keep them work clothes on soon she walk through the door you know don't try to take no bath or take care of herself you know what I'm saying nah that's not me no no I have a routine walk through the door you know I already say thank you Jesus in the morning when I walk through the door I say thank you Jesus again I put all my stuff down Go and get me a shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, and get my breakfast going. Eat, watch a little TV, and then I'm going to sleep. Okay, and get ready for another night. But anyway, let's get back to snot. No, um, she needs some mucus, mucinets, mucinets. She needs something to take care of that running nose. It could be sinus, you know, allergy or whatever. Whatever the case may be, you have medication for it, you know. And I did a video yesterday, but I deleted it. And it was talking about, um, I had to make the statement, as Loretta did as well, don't swallow that stuff. That's nasty ass not bacteria that make you sick. I don't know if Ross know that or not. and uh, But she need to spit that coal out. You know, do not swallow. Ross, don't swallow that stuff, okay? That's germs. That's nasty. That's snot. You are swallowing snot. Snot that come out your nose. You put it right back into your system. This is why you cannot heal on the inside. Because you're full of snot. When you spit that stuff out, y'all. And I know it's nasty. I'm about to get a little nasty. But y'all know when, that's, when you blow that stuff out your nose, you see what color it is. Imagine you swallowing that stuff. And for her fan base over there, y'all sit there and be like, yeah, Raw Squad, Raw's team, Raw's this, Raw's. Tell Raw's. Y'all need to start telling Raw's. She's not going to get mad at y'all. She's going to get mad with us because y'all her supporters. She's not going to get mad with y'all ladies if y'all tell her, Raw's, don't swallow that. Or, uh, you know, Raw's, blow your nose. You know, y'all need to start telling her that if y'all really care for her, like y'all say y'all do and y'all support her, support her in the right way and not in the wrong way, okay? Y'all need to tell her. Y'all need to let her know. Some things y'all need to pull her coattail on and say, yeah, you know, Ross, you know, we agree with them. We still on your side. We still support you. You know, we still Raw Squad, Sister Circle, even though Sister Circle is not anything positive, you know? Nothing positive come out of the sister circle, okay? Nothing. Nothing, y'all. So her supporters need to be open and honest with her and tell her on certain things. I don't want people to tell me. I honestly do. 
Brene, um, girl, that we don't look right on you. You know, you need to do this. If they my supporters, because they here to assist me, help me, and support me. And it's just like the other chick that's having a, you know, a hard time with the credit, the finance, and, you know, trying to buy a new home. Whether it's a trailer, whether it's a house, whether it's a barn, whatever it is. Y'all give her some help on how she can um, finance a home or something, you know. These ladies need y'all help, but y'all over there supporting all this crazy negative stuff that they got going on. And them, you know, uh, Rita over there talking about uh, Miss Cece and, and Miss Brian. You know, y'all, they her supporters are down for that. They down for that. But they, they're too afraid to speak up and say the do's and the don't. That's a real supporter. That's a real supporter. Somebody need to assist this girl on how she can get a better trailer. No matter, it doesn't matter whether it's a 2020 or 19 or 18. It better than that 1967 trailer she's living in when you have to push the windows from the inside to the outside you can't just let them up you know how you just push in on those two little uh, latches and pull up the window no ma'am the trailer she live in you have to push it from the it's on the inside you have to push them on the outside and the air comes up from the bottom and who in the hell still have well maybe a lot of people still have air conditioning in the window that lets you know that mm, you're not doing well. And I'm going to say this. The only reason I'm saying what I'm saying is because this chick coming after the elder people. This is why I am saying what I'm saying to her. Okay? To her. I don't have a problem with, you know, I, I I don't have a problem with someone having air conditioned windows. Period. That lives in a trailer park, but the chances are when you living in a trailer, sorry about that, y'all. When you living in a trailer, you have a unit. Those are the upper date trailers. But the one that rattle stay in, I'm going to call a rattle snot nose and rattle the one that rattle stays in it can't be up to date it can't be up to date y'all because the air conditioning is still in the window okay her room has an air conditioned window the other one or two room have air conditioned windows the kitchen she just push it out and get air like that you know or or y'all windows yes the fan may be in the window now that's some good ass air y'all and y'all know especially at night time you living in that trailer you don't have an air condition unit and the temperature in texas baby i'm subscribing to some other channels and these people live in texas and they always consistent talking about how hot it is in texas do y'all hear me out there it's hot in Texas. Now, by this girl, by rather living in a trailer with no unit, and those little bit old small watts air conditioning is trying to cool that trailer off, and it's an old trailer. I know the insulation, or if it got insulation in it, and you know the boards is already rotted out. So you know the trailer probably leaning to the side. I said that in my video earlier. The, you know, the trailer could be leaning because of the board underneath the trailer is dry rotten. Because the trailer is old. She should just go ahead and pack what little things that she have that's worth keeping. And just 
live in a barn or I was going to say a shed. Go to Lowe's and buy a shed because, you know, Lowe's selling sheds down that look like the apartments. But but you got to have good credit and um and a good, you know, been at your job for a while. Because that probably be a little bit cheaper to just go to Lowe's and get a shed. And they'll bring it out to you, but you got to have some land. You know when y'all, maybe she can just have that trailer move and just put a shed there. She shed. Rattle. Girl, now I'm trying to help you, not hurt you. I'm not trying to hurt you at all. I'm trying to help you. Go to Lowe's and apply for a she shed. If you get approved, because you might not have to put anything down, but if you get approved for this she shed, move that trailer. Have someone to move that trailer, the owner or somewhere, and you just pay for the she shed in the land. That's it. Or, you know, maybe when you in the sister circle, they can assist you. That's what y'all supposed to be over there talking about. Assisting one another. Helping one another. Joining hands. Connecting together. Doing positive things. Not over there talking about nobody. Not talking about nobody, rattle. It's not. You should help her. She your um co-host. Snot. You purple heart. Snot. Why you not helping rattle? But you her girl. You supposed to be her girl. Now what gonna happen is, and I already see it, and it gonna happen before Christmas. Mark my word. Mark my word. Before Thanksgiving or Christmas, snot and rattle gonna fall out. See what snot is doing when she did to Coco is butter her in. You know, pull the in. Snot know how to do that kind of stuff. She been doing it for years. How she from the hood. What's up, baby? She from the hood, from the gutter. Mm hmm Yeah. Now it's not should be trying to help rattle. If they buddies. But what's going on? Snot getting all the information she need. She haven't got enough. She ain't got enough, y'all. So what she doing? She's keeping Rattle underneath her wing. And getting all the information she need and she want. And when she got everything she need, when she got enough so she can come on her platform and talk about it. And then all her support is going to be on her side. And they're going to dog Rattle ass out in the sister circle. See, Snake trying to, uh, 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 Snot trying to gather information about her living arrangement, what kind of car she drive, what her banking account look like, what them boys got going on over there. And speaking of those boys, they going to college to, to proceed, you know, go to get a career. And for them, for, for Rattle to sit up there and, and pull her sons into this, knowing that they're going to college, she is messing them up pretty bad. Rattle, you is you you wrong, you wrong, you wrong. Let your boys enjoy their life, get their life together. Because I'm going to tell you something for sure. They're going to be around a lot of white people on the campus and a lot of black people. You already know and it's sad to say white people trump black people. We coming along slowly, but we coming, okay? The white people is already there. Let me tell you something, because I've seen it for myself. 
I didn't experience it, but I seen it for myself. I'm familiar with it. These boys gonna go off to college, meet other little, meet other, you know, white people, white boys. They gonna hang out with them. They gonna meet up with these these coaches that's gonna be white. They whole demeanor going to change. Everything going to change about them. They're going to hate and regret what they have done. Okay. Now. Rattle. By your boys or your son. I don't know how many are going to college. I hope they succeed in life and go to pro. Or they may be already in college headed to pro. However it works, sister. Real talk, for real, for real. No, no cap, no bull, no bullshit. You don't want to introduce your boys to something negative because they are headed in the right pathway or positive. You don't want nobody to dislike you so much till they find out what college or what school your boy is going to and cause problems because of you. It starts with the head and not the ass. Okay? It starts with the head, rather, and not the ass. Leave your boys out of this YouTube stuff and lead them in the right pathway. And maybe they can come and say, well, mama, don't do this, and mama, don't do that because it's interfering with what I have going on in my career. You as a mother should set the pathway the right way you don't came this far you don't came too far rather you don't came too far to let these boys down so don't entertain what's not going on got going on over there in the sister circle because she's gonna pull you down and your boy's career she don't care about nobody but her own little snot of no ass okay Real talk. I may be over here talking about this trailer you staying in. And one day you may be living in a mansion. But the way you going and pulling your boys in. And hoping, you know, that they don't get injured. You know, in the process of, process of playing football or whatever. That they succeed and bless you. But going this way, you're not going to be blessed messing with snot. And snot going to drag you. If you don't see what she did to Coco and Lele. She had them thinking that they was brothers and sisters on the YouTube streets. <laughs> and they wasn't. She just got the information she wanted so her channel can grow. Real talk. Real talk, rather. So be mindful with snot nose. But still, you need to be trying to work on you somewhere to stay. And get out that trailer. I ain't coming up off of that. Mm-mm. 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 I'm still going to talk about that trailer. Because I know you hot over there. I know you hot. It's hot in Texas. And I know that your trailer is not sitting under a tree. You were probably all out in the open. To where the sun is beaming. You might need to take a big old tent. And, and put it over the trailer they may cool it down a little bit but be careful rattle but it's not it's not you better hope that don't nobody find out where where your daughter is your daughter I already know how messy you you are because you know, all three of y'all was on the panel. Your daughter cursed in front of you. That's, a, you know, that's disrespect. I would never, never, never curse in front of my mom. Not even a slip up. Not a slip up. Never will I cuss in front of my granny or my aunts. Or my uncles. Cousin, yeah. Of course. Because I'm older than all my cousins. I am the oldest one. 
I am the firstborn. So yeah, I cuss in front of them. But my mother and my father and my grannies and my grandpas never did. Never did that. And for you to sit there and allow your daughters to curse in front of you, that goes to show you what you raised. And I'm not speaking about books. I ain't speaking about, I'm not talking about books, college, lawyers, and all that. I'm talking about what's within the home. The discipline. You you didn't discipline those children. Because if you did, they wouldn't be damn cussing in front of you. I have five children. They are grown adults. Do they cuss in front of me? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Didn't have it. Didn't play that in my house. They couldn't even say the word lie. Could not say the word lie. I did not say it in front of my mother because I couldn't say it. They damn sure didn't say it. Say it if you want and see what happened. I didn't mind sparing the raw. I did it several times. And my grandbabies know that they do not cuss in front of their mothers, their fathers, or their grandmothers or grandfathers, or their aunties. They may cuss among each other when they together in little groups. But other than that, around adults, no. So I feel like this, if your children curse in front of you, I'm pretty sure they curse in front of their aunts and uncles. I'm pretty sure. I am so sure because y'all are so hood and ghetto and goodly. In the little neighborhood that you talking about? <laughs> Where you from? Maybe I already got some information on that, but I'm not gonna speak on it yet. I'm just waiting. Because this person here, I love her to death. And I would not call out her name. She from Cali. She know the area where you, you from. Not where you live at now. She know about that area. And yes, she did say that's a nice area. Very nice. But yes, they do take section A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this person that I know. She don't know you personal, but she do know about the neighborhood you came from and raised those babies from. That's why they hood and in the gully. It don't matter that that girl got a, a degree in being a lawyer, a public defender or whatever. It doesn't matter. She still got the hood in her. She still gully. And I'm talking about them because they're not children. They're grown, funky, snotty nose, like their mother. They grown. Especially that girl that's 25 years old, still in damn college, don't have no driving lights, and then don't want to drive. Because, why? I'm pretty sure her credit good. She can get a car. Your credit might not be, be the best, but hey, it is what it is. And what year is that damn Toyota? I got an old car. Mine's a 2016 Nissan. But if I want something nice, I can jump out there and go grab it. The thing is, I don't want the payments. So I prefer to spend my money on purchasing this house that I want. My car paid for. My motorcycle paid for. I'm good. Car run just like it's brand new. Okay. My focus is purchasing my home. Not renting. Buying. But I'm about to get ready to get out of here, you guys. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Hit like. 
and that notification bell okay you have a wonderful